Folks, this is Dr. Paul. Thank you for tuning to our channel today. Today I want to talk about the management of supraventricular tachycardia in children, SVT in children. Very, very important concept. And uh, remember, there are certain treatments. First of all, you should determine whether the child is hemodynamically unstable or hemodynamically stable. If the child is hemodynamically unstable, give synchronized direct current cardioversion, starting with 0.5 joules per kilogram. But if the child is hemodynamically stable, you should start with vagal maneuvers. And it consists of application of ice bag to the face. Here in this photo, you can see that. You, you put the child on the monitor, and while watching it, ice water is applied to the upper half of the infant's face for vagal stimulation here. And note one thing, the bag of ice water does not cover the nose or mouth. So that is very important. Sometimes in our haste, we cover the nose and mouth. And in, uh, in such cases, treatment is actually worse than the disease, okay? So you always remember not to cover the nose and mouth when you are doing this uh, application of ice water to terminate SVT in children. And you can also give, uh, if the child is old, like it's in a older child, you can try Valsalva maneuver for 15 to 20 seconds. A continuous EKG rhythm strip should be obtained during this procedure, okay? And for hemodynamical unstable, pa uh, stable patients with SVT that does not convert to normal sinus rhythm with vagal maneuvers, then you need to go for medications like intravenous adenosine, okay? Adenosine should be administered at an initial dose of 0.1 mg per kg followed by a rapid saline flush. The rhythm does not convert with the initial dose. Adenosine is repeated with increases to a maximum dose of 0.25 to 0.35 mg per kg or a total dose of 12 milligrams. So that is the acute management of supraventricular tachycardia in children. You, if the child is unstable, uh, go for uh, 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 synchronized a direct cardioversion. If the child is stable, go for vagal maneuvers. If the vagal maneuvers does not help, go for medications like adenosine. That is the simplified version. And if it is a chronic, if they are, the patient is getting again and again, then you do a 12 lead EKG and you look for any Wolf Parkinson White syndrome and you can also go for radio frequency ablation and also prophylactic drug therapy we're using propranolol and uh, atropine. But remember, uh, sorry, uh, digoxin. So remember, digoxin should not be used in patients with Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. So those are the most important points I wanted to share with you. Um, thank you so much. Subscribe to our channel. Have a good day.